Hey Dress Up Sip Stars, welcome to Dress Up Mastery TV. Um, <laughs> my name is Michelle Sheraltoff and I'm a Grand Prix Dress Up Rider. And part of our new thing that we're doing in Dress Up Mastery TV is doing lesson or train with Tash. So thank you to Kate Richmond. Kate Richmond is one of my riders here at um, the International Institute of Dressage. And um, thank you. I just want to say thank you because all my riders put themselves out. I know I've said this before, but you can say whatever you want to, you want about me and about training. But please remember that these girls have said that they'll put themselves out there and show the mistakes they're making. So if we can just be respectful and loving towards them, I would really appreciate that. Um, this is Milo. He's a half Frisian, half thoroughbred, and um, he's training elementary, so second level. Um, and we thought we'd answer a question from Denise who asked how do you train a rain back and how do you help the rain back? So uh, Kate has a competition tomorrow and we actually do need to work on the rain back so we thought that would be a good thing to show. So we'll just go over to the fence. Cool, okay, so the first thing you need to remember with the rain back is the rain back is a forward movement and the forward movement should not be done by hand. So um, uh, Kate, show me a rain back that you would do like a bad rain back just with reins, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, stop, I can't bear it. Um, so that's don't do that. Um, you know, and that's just pulling the horse back. And as I've said to Kate, at the end of the day, um, we're gonna train the rein back correctly and off the right aids. But if you're in your test and you're at sea and you have to do a rein back, well, you have to do a rein back. That would score horribly and you would go really badly, but that's better than getting a zero because you can't rein back. So that's, yeah, don't do that. But we understand if you're in a test, sometimes that's all you've got. So if we remember that the rein back is a forward movement, um, it's a diagonal pair, so it actually isn't like a walk forward. A walking forward is four beats, but a rain back is um, a diagonal like a trot. <laughs> he knows what the whip means. Um, but that means this uh, front leg and that hind leg will go, and then this hind leg and this front leg will go. Um, if they are not going in diagonal pairs, it's because your rain back's not forward enough, so you've got to keep your rain back forward. Um, so the aid for the rain back that I use is I actually move my leg back, but I don't put it on, okay? Um, or I might put it on lightly, but I obviously don't jam it on, you know, and really show that the horse has to do that. So the horse just knows if my legs move back, that that means to go backwards, but obviously it's still a forward movement. The horse has to remain on the bit, so I'm still going to keep my outside rein and light half halts to keep him soft and round. So I'll just help Kate apply the aid. The horse doesn't know what the aid means yet, so aid. And I'm going to help with the whip, good boy, and walk forward. And then you'll see when Kate wants to walk forward, her legs go back forward and show the horse to go forward and halt. Okay. And when we're ready, good boy. Okay, and walk forward and halt again. So that was off the aid. So the horse gets told good boy and pat. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know. <laughs> um, but he's going crooked. So it's the same if the horse goes crooked forward, how would you fix it? If the horse goes crooked backwards, how would you fix it? So he's putting his inside hind in. So what should you do? Slight inside bend and a little bit more inside leg. Sounds good. So apply the aids again. Good, that straightened up, good. Cool, and walk forward. And you can just walk on. So that's how you do the rain back, that's how you train it. It doesn't have to be perfect um, straight away. Um, just by training that every day, it's gonna get better and better until you can score an eight, a nine, or a 10 in your dressage test. So trust that helps. Um, if you need any more help, go to dressagemastery.com um, where you'll find heaps of free stuff for you. And if you wanna join my Dressage Mastery program, I would love to have you in the program. It's just a dollar to join, and I look forward to supporting you in your dressage journey. Have a super week, bye.